Hey guys, Andy here, and I'm here to talk about all things mundane and makeup related, so if that's your vibe, I'd love it if you'd subscribe and be a little part of my slice of the internet. And let's go ahead and get on into today's video, which is my March update for the Nightmare on Panning Street. <laughs> So, if you don't know anything about this, this was a Fantastic Ladies collab project pan that was created by Jaylon and Valerie, which started on Halloween of 2023 and goes to Halloween of 2024. It's a roulette style project where you choose six or 13 prompts and you just choose collection specific goals for those prompts. Um, it's... I believe it's 69 now horror movies and then each of them have prompts that go with them of course let me get out my red pen and then i'm also doing what kim from teacher loves beauty does now where every update regardless of what rolls out i'm rolling in six prompts because i really want it's getting into crunch time and i really want to be able to hit all the prompts so let's just get into what I've worked on. So let me grab all the products that I've worked on over the month of March. All right, I have all of my items out. So we are going to start with the movie It, which was a product that reminds you of high school. And for that, that is these uh, brush tip liners, not specifically this one, of course, but this is from AF94. This is their backline eyeliner in the shade Shipwreck, which is a brown, and I set a six-use goal on this. I am setting a six-use goal, except unless it states otherwise, for everything in this project. So... I've used this twice in the month of March to get me to five uses on this guy. I wish I would have used it today because then I would have had my six use goal and I could have ruled this out. Ah, but I mean, it's five out of my six uses. This will absolutely be a rollout for March. I do not like this liner. Personally, it, it skips a little bit. So I would just go back to getting the like $3 elf liners, but it's fine. I like the shade. This has made me realize that I do want a brown liner in my collection, but not this one specifically. But one more use on this guy. He will definitely be a rollout for April. Next for items that I have used for Dracula. That was a vampire or bat themed product. So I brought in the Lottie London and Vampire Diaries pH color changing lipstick in the shade Hybrid, which looks like this. Obviously, it's pH, so it changes to your pH. Of course, I set a six use goal on this, and I've used it once in the month of March to get me up to my five out of six uses. Again, this will absolutely be a rollout for April. I can hit that one more use goal. Not a problem. So we will be having some good rollouts for April. That is exciting. Next, for 28 Days Later, that was use a product 28 times. So I picked my Sophia and Maybell Set and Prep Setting Spray. Last month, we were at this silver line here. And now, let me grab, let's mark it. Now we are. That's a pretty good jump here. So I've used this three more times in the month of March for a total of 23 uses to get me down to there. So I have five more uses on this. So again, this will be a rollout for... April and I'm excited to see what five more uses if that was three uses how many if five more uses will finish this or how close that'll get me it's been a fine setting spray I wouldn't repurchase it I got that in a subscription box so it was fine I don't feel like it really helps with longevity but it's a nice a mist like in between your layers of makeup I feel like it's really nice for that so next we have one missed call, which, what was that one? Something you almost missed out on. Oh, that's, yeah, 100%. That was, I picked my Jeffree Star Alien palette because 
I got this off Mercari secondhand after he discontinued this palette, which if you don't know what it looks like, this is what it looks. Stuck my finger in a shade. This is what it looks like. So originally, I set a six use goal on this, like I said. So I wouldn't have hit my goal on this. But, but, on the 14th of March, I used six shades from this palette. It's going to take me the rest of the year to hit six more uses, five more uses on this. So I'm going to count the six shades that I used as me hitting my goal for this. And going forward, so I'm going to count this prompt as done because I used six shades. Going forward, if I roll a palette into this project, I'm either going to do it that way where I need to use every pan counts as a use, or I'm just going to use it as no pan left behind for the palette because I just don't do my makeup enough to wear... I can constitute, oh, I'm going to do six looks from one palette. I also don't want to have to reach for one specific palette that many times out of the year. That's just not conducive to how I do my makeup right now. So, we're rolling this out. I hope you guys are okay with that. I used six shades out of the palette. I figured that was, it kind of fulfilled the prompt. I'm saying that it's done. We're good. Next, we have Smile, which was a lip product. So I brought in from LA Colors the lip liner. It's just in the shade of black. And I used this once in the month of March for five uses out of my six uses. Again, this will absolutely be done in April. This, I have been really loving pairing this with other things than just a black lipstick. It's been a really nice mixer, so... Very excited to still be getting some use on that. For Bird Box, that was an item you can apply without looking, and that is absolutely a primer. I finished this February 28th, so this was done, like, right after I filmed my last update. So this was done February 28th, but it was just my mini Jekka Black Hydrating Primer. Did not like this. Didn't feel like it did anything. It did not hydrate. It left my skin feeling greasy. I got this in an Ipsy. I would not purchase it. Did not like it. But it's empty. It's done. Hallelujah. So we have one, one rollout. I need to keep these over here so I know how many we're rolling in. Two rollouts. Cool. Next, for Evil Dead, what was that? The Evil Dead. The Evil Dead. A tree or forest themed item. So I went with my Lovecraft Beauty eyeliner. This is in the shade Soil. And it's just this beautiful, like, shimmery brown bronze shade. I have a six use goal on it. And I've used it three times in the month of March which I rolled it in last month. So I'm at three out of my six uses. I've been really enjoying this. This might be a rollout next month if I can use it three more times. So that has been super nice. Then we have the Curse of La Llorona. And that is... A product that makes you weep for joy or because it's taking forever. And for that, I picked... My Too Faced Shape Tape in the shade Peach. It's the corrector. I have been absolutely loving this. I was working on this behind the scenes because it was beautiful. So I just wanted to roll it into a project. I set a six use goal on this. I've used it three times in the month of March for my, I'm at four out of six uses. So this should be a rollout for April. No problem. Next we have Paranormal Activity. An item that never seems to disappear. And that is my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Because I already have a backup that I got from Influencer. And this one still isn't even done. I wish I could tell you how much is in here. But I'm sure it's only halfway gone. This just is never ending for me. Because I only wear this. I wear it all through the summer. Because it really sets my makeup. But then I only wear it for special occasions otherwise. 
I wore it, I've worn it three times in the month of March for, and I'm at four out of six, four out of six uses. So, two more to go. Pet Cemetery. That is a product that you've revived. I now have re revived a few products, but at the time I hadn't really revived anything. So I picked something that I frankened because I mean... I revived the glitters by putting them in something else. That, that's where I stretched that. So this was a Bath and Body Works fragrance that I put into a spray bottle with my Huda Beauty glitter shades from the New Nudes palette. So I wanted to use this six times. I used it five times in the month of March for my six uses. I hit my goal on March 13th. So this is a rollout. I don't love this. I definitely need to roll this into a project to finish because there's not much left of it, but don't love it. I don't even remember. I wish I would have wrote down what the scent was because it's just, I don't love the scent. I love it. I like it better now because it's glittery, but I just don't love the scent that it is. But there is that. And then where, where are you? Us. I skipped over this. An item that's a dupe. And so this is the Hard Candy Fix My Halo Highlighter. And this is like a dupe for the Diamond Balm from Fenty because this is just glitter. There's no like base pigment or anything. I used this once in the month of March. And so now I'm at four out of six uses on this guy. So... That means we have one, two, three rollouts, plus the six prompts that I am rolling in always. So we're going to be rolling in nine prompts. So let's go ahead and get out the trusty Tiny Decisions app. And one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine prompts. Let's get into Nightmare on Panning Street. And away we go. What are we getting? Insidious. I'm just going to write them down first. And then we will go from there. We will talk. I've seen Insidious. I've never seen Rosemary's Baby. Rosemary's Baby. Now what? I've never seen Christine. Unfortunately. I've heard good things about that. Now what? Now what? I saw Hellraiser, but like, man, I was little. My because like my dad watched it. I was very young when I saw Hellraiser. The Blob. I've never actually seen it. Like I've seen clips from the Blob, but I've never actually watched it. Fake horror fan here. The Omen. I've seen that. Now what? Which that was actually a pretty good movie. I liked The Omen. Hereditary. I've seen that multiple times, unfortunately. And I don't like it. Did not think it was a good movie. What? The Changeling. Never seen it. Maybe I just need to start watching more horror movies. Which, I mean, I do. I really do. But. Oh god, Final Destination. We've all been changed by Final Destination. Destination. 
All right. So I'm going to go get my products and then I'll come back and I'll read you guys the prompts. We'll talk about the products. We'll swatch things. So I will be back for you in just a moment. My Lord, that took forever and I had to take a kitty break, which he's coming back over here. So I might have to take another kitty break. If you saw in my color pan video, I got a kitty. His name is Blazemere. If he comes over here, I'll show you guys. <laughs> But that took forever for me to find these products. But let's start with Insidious. So that was something you dreamt about purchasing or is on your wish list. So I went with the Pat McGrath bronzer because I, drew, I did dream about this, and it is on my wish list. I got this as an add-on in Ipsy, and I was through the moon. I had to have it. So this is in the shade... Oh, what shade are you? Bronze Dawn. So I will go ahead and swatch it. I haven't even used it on the skin yet. But there's the shade. That's the shade Bronze Dawn. So this is going to be a six use as for basically all everything in here except like one thing is a six use goal. So we have a bronzer. That's great because I need I actually have two bronzers that are rolling in. So Blaze Mirror, what are you doing? He's in a box. That's fine. So next we have Rosemary's Baby. And that is a new item in your collection, which literally could have been anything. But I went with this BH Cosmetics Floral Blush. This is from my friend Sarah. Shout out to Sarah if you're watching this. And it looks like this. It's gorgeous. Didn't even know BH made this. But I'm going to roll this in for six uses. That is the color. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely beautiful. So we have six uses on that guy. Next we have the movie Christine, which is an item that you made a special trip to the store for. I didn't make a trip to the store specifically for this, but I made a special trip two Marshalls and I got this so this is from NARS and it is their light reflecting setting powder and it's the tr translucent crystal and it's got hearts all over it I went Valentine's Day and like it's a whole thing I'm gonna use this for six uses we have a mirror but I've never tried the setting powder and I've heard mixed reviews on this like crystal shade like you're not even going to be able to see it but it's it's a finishing powder and I've never really used a finishing powder so I absolutely want to give this a try and see how I feel about it six uses should be more than enough for me to be able to form some coherent thoughts and opinions on it Next we have Hellraiser, which was a facial exfoliant, and I actually have one that I'm using currently. I got this in my Allure beauty box for last month, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And this is from Lush, and this is their Happy Skin Enzymic Facial Exfoliator. It's made with gentle exfoliants, fresh juices, and soothing oils. So this is going in for a six-use goal. As you can see, I've already been using it it smells like pumpkin bread it's good till december 23rd of 2024 which is perfect because it'll definitely be done by then i use this twice a week i do tuesdays and thursdays so today i have to use it which is great it'll be my first use so this will absolutely be rolling out next month because like i said i use it twice a week so two, four, six, in three weeks, this will be a rollout. So this will be a rollout for next month for sure. But I'm really enjoying this. I've already used this, I think six times and I'm really liking it. I don't know how much a full size of this would cost, but I would absolutely purchase this because 
It's not too rough. I found with a lot of facial exfoliants that they're way too rough. This is very gentle, and I really like that. So I'm happy to be rolling that in. So next we have the blob, which was a putty or cream product. And this is new to me. And this is the Physician's Formula Diamond Bronzer. And it's in the shade Bronze Gem. And this even says for extra sensitive or breakout prone skin. So again, this is a six use goal, but I didn't know that this was like a cream putty type bronzer when I bought it. But it absolutely is. And that's going to go perfectly with the Pat McGrath bronzer. So six uses on this and I will absolutely be able to form an opinion on that. So, woohoo. Next, we have the Omen 666. Use a six pan palette six times. Six, each six shades six times. So, for that, I'm bringing in my brand new. This is by Sugar Drizzle. This is their highlight palette, and it's called On Top of the Mountain and Beneath the Stars. And this is what she looks like. So, there you go. All six highlight shades have a different um shift which I haven't even swatched this or have I can't even remember now oh my god so I am so excited to have to use all of these shades six times like gives me an excuse <sighs> to do that oh my lanta those are stunning. So excited. Like, could I have picked an actual palette? Yeah. Because last year when I did this project, I picked a Glam Light palette. So could I have done that? Absolutely I could have. But this is so much more fun. Very excited to do that. So then we have Hereditary. And that was a nostalgic product. And I picked the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. Because these are my, these used to be my go-to. These used to be the only liquid lips that I owned were these. And I had like eight of them. But this is the only one that I own now is this, this one. And this is in the shade Fighter. And this was their like coffee collection. Because, oh, it smells so good. It smells like coffee, but almost like a mocha. It's got like a hint of chocolate in there. That's the shade Fighter, and of course I want a six-use goal on this guy, but this is very much nostalgic for me because all through high school and, like, up until I was, like, 21, these were the only liquid lips I wore, were these. Because they were my perfect go-to-the-bar lips because you put them on and you did not have to touch them up. They stayed forever. So, yes. And then... And I can put this on here because I wrote down all the shades of the highlight palette so that I can make sure I'm using all six of them six times. Keep that in there. And then for the changeling, the changeling, something that bounces from project to project. And it's not this specific one, but loose pigments. I have loose pigments. They're just bouncing from project to project. I have them in everything. So I just picked one of my newest ones, and it's also from Sugar Drizzle. And this one's in the shade Bubble Bath. Which is this beautiful, like, pinky purple to blue... It's got some green in there. It's just, it's stunning. So, like I said, not this specific shade bounces from project to project, but loose pigments in general do for me. So, and of course, I want a six use goal on that guy. And the final prompt that we are rolling in today is Final Destination. And that is. Something you're about to declutter or finish up. 
And I was sitting there thinking like, oh, well, I don't have much that I'm about to finish that isn't already in a project. And I don't really have anything that I'm going to declutter that I would be willing to use. Like the stuff that I'm about to declutter is in a package that I, I'm going to be sending to a friend. So I picked, this is my YSL Libre Eau de Parfum. That's how much I have left, which is probably like two days worth for me. So I want to finish it. It might be a cop out, but it's close to being done. And I did already because I keep the little paper that comes in so that I can write my little review on it so that when I throw this in my empties, when I finally go over my empties, I have cat hair. I can remember how I felt. So for this perfume, because I already know how I feel about it, I would rate it like a 5 out of 10. It's super floral, even though it, the notes don't say that it's supposed to be super floral, because it's, it smells like an old grandma. And then it doesn't last very long. Literally, like two hours after you put this on, it's gone. And I hate that. And Eau de Parfum is supposed to last longer because, like, it's not a toilet. It's a parfum. These are supposed to last longer. And it just, it doesn't. Upsetting. This scent I don't like. Let's just be personally. I'll finish it because I always finish these little minis. Even if I don't like the scent, I still finish it. But that is everything that we are rolling in for this update. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.